Welcome to this short presentation where I will outline the contours of our Master of Science in Biomedical Engineering organized by Kent University and Vrije Universiteit Brussels. We offer a two-year master program of 120 credits and with 66 credits in compulsory courses, 30 credits in elective courses and 24 credits for the master thesis. These compulsory courses are deepening engineering courses. On the one hand, they cover established biomedical engineering domains as artificial organs, medical imaging or biomaterials. On the other hand, we cover courses in upcoming but essential domains such as neuroengineering science, robotics and assisted technologies and data analytics and artificial intelligence to support clinical decision making. 41 of the 120 credits throughout year 1 and 2 are foreseen for project-oriented courses. In year one, we start with biomedical product development, where students work in small groups to find solution for a given medical problem. Students design and develop a prototype while reflecting on protecting their intellectual property or on which steps are needed to bring the device or method to the market or to come to a successful spin-off. A second project course in year one starts in the second semester. Students take up a numerical course but have three options, with one neuroengineering course and two biomechanics-oriented courses. In the second year, students take up a project in a hospital during the first semester. The project is supervised by and has been defined by a medical doctor, and students collaborate with the medical team to find a solution for a particular problem that the team is struggling with. In parallel, students work on the master thesis throughout the complete second year. The effective distribution of the workload over the semesters will depend on the students' electives and curriculum. The 30 credits for electives allow our students to define their own personal track or to opt for one of the specialization tracks that we have worked out with the program board. We offer specializations in neuroengineering, sensors and devices, mechanics and materials and radiation physics. This slide gives an overview of available courses within the different specialization domains. Students can formally graduate with the specialization mentioned on the diploma supplement after having acquired 18 credits of electives in the domain and when the topic of the master thesis was also within that same domain. The master is organized in a collaboration between Ghent University and Vrije Universiteit Brussel. Biomedical product development, hospital project and data analytics run in parallel in Ghent and Brussels. Biomedical robotics and clinical decision support systems are organized at VUB. Other courses are organized in Ghent or jointly. We make maximal use of teleclassing. We have exchange agreements with excellent international partners such as the Politecnico di Milano, EPFL in Lausanne, NTNU in Trondheim, and several other universities. Erasmus Exchange is scheduled in the second master and students can study semester one, semester two or the complete year abroad. An important factor in the success of our program is our student organization BEAM, Biomedical Engineering and more. Het grote richting heeft je studentenvereniging en elke afdeling richting binnen burgerlijk heeft ook nog zijn specifieke um, Studentenvereniging, wel ook kleiner dan uiteraard om de VTK. En BIEM is dan dus de onze, onze uh, studentenvereniging. Uh, goh, wat doen wij zoal? Lezingen, evenementen, sociale evenementen dan ook. Het contact tussen uh, de bedrijven en de studenten. Dat is zeker misschien wel het belangrijkste eigenlijk. Uh, om bedrijven uit te nodigen en zo de cont het contact tussen de afstand tussen de student en de bedrijven te verkleinen. Zeg maar. Voor wat ik wel geleerd heb, nu dat ik zo een beetje bezig was ook dit jaar mm -hmm. met BIEM, voor het dat ik het meer interessant vond om zo in contact te komen ook met die masters, met mensen die dus al ja, de richting al veel langer doen dan nu, die, die al veel verder zitten, die al veel meer vakken hebben gehad, die nu dan zeggen welke vakken dat er veel tijd nodig hebben en welke is <laughs> voor Erasmus-studenten. Ja, yeah, inderdaad. Een, een super, allee, een super initiatief, omdat vaak ja, van Erasmus komen die mensen hier terecht en oké, okay, die doen wel Redelijk kwam mij als mezelf, maar het lijkt mij ook wel een keer interessant om in contact te komen inderdaad met mensen die de richting hier in Gent doen. Dus dat vind ik ook super aan BIEM. Together with BIEM, the program board organizes a number of events for master students. During our yearly biomedical industry day, we invite industry in Gent or Brussels and students present their master thesis research to industry, while industry presents itself to the students.
We also take our second master's students to the National Day on Biomedical Engineering, where all Belgian universities gather to present their research. As part of biomedical product development, our first master's students visit Medica in Düsseldorf, the world's largest medical equipment fair. Throughout the program, we have field trips to companies as Cochlear in Mechelen or ORSI, the robotic surgery training facility in Melle. Our program exists for more than 10 years, and together with VUB, we have now trained over 300 biomedical engineers. We stay in touch with our alumni through a LinkedIn page, which provides an overview of the type of functions they take up. A number of our graduates choose for a career in research and start a PhD in a Belgian or international university or research institute. Others take up a role in a hospital as medical physicists or in a technical management function. The vast majority, however, find a job in biomedical industry, in small startups or in large multinationals as Siemens, Abbott or Medtronic. Others opt for a job in consultancy, take up a government function or take a radically different direction with a job at Volvo or ArcelorMittal. Should you have any remaining questions, please consult our website or feel free to contact me or my VUB colleague, Johan Steens, through email. Thank you for your attention.